Hey, bonjour tout le monde, hi everyone, welcome back on my channel, it's me Max and if you are new here, I'm a Eurovision reactor and today we continue to uh, react and to talk about uh, the performance from Eurovision 2023 Grand Final and today I decided to react to the only one, Karija, uh, the runner-up of Eurovision 2023 from Finland with his song Cha Cha Cha. Uh, it's a video where I'm just gonna rewatch his performance uh, last time and to tell you all my opinion about Finland choice since the beginning to the last performance he did and to the moment of the televote. We're just gonna chat about Finland today. It's just a cool video, nothing really serious. We are here to celebrate Finland. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on my social networks, TikTok, Twitter and Instagram to support me, please. And now stop talking and let's go rewatch it. Okay, let's go Finland, Karija, cha cha cha. So I know you know the song by heart, but let's just talk about how good it was. <laughs> so from the national selection UMK 2023 to Eurovision stage, a lot changed. This giant box creates such a mysterious beginning like what is that who's that guy in uh, this green uh, top which is quite naked what is that a lot of people were really shocked i think for the first time but this is good it creates a surprise the stamina cha 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 the cha 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 hey i never felt at first that i will listen this song actually i'm not sure it's the, my most listening song but yeah, that's it, that's your version. That creates surprise and, and you are listening to song that you weren't thinking to listen to and that's good. And what I really appreciate about Finland this year is that the song is in Finnish. This is so cool. I, I mean, seeing your own language, it's working. See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the thing that he didn't win, it's because of the jury, but I mean, the jury also are here to judge vocals capacity. Yep, he's not like a huge uh, vocal singer, I know that, he's more a rapper, but Eurasian is also about the vocals. So that's why I think he's not uh, the winner of the jury vote, but he finished like fourth in the jury, which is quite good for someone which uh, doesn't have the best vocals of the year. So I was quite happy that Finn finished in the top five of the jury because I thought he would be out of it. Me dancing my, me na cha cha cha. Ah ah ah. The little dance, all Europeans are gonna love it. That's sure, that's sure. I'm really happy that the song also is going global in the Spotify chart. Cha. Na 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 na. And a lot of people. Are still thinking that this is a fun song but for me there is still a message behind it about isolation with alcohol from Finnish people with it so it's still like a fun song yes but there is serious meaning also behind it and yeah Ooh, na -na 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 it's gonna be for sure one of the favorite televote winners since Many years, I think, recent years. In a cha cha cha, a bit like Kano. Cha cha cha, ah. In a cha cha cha, I love the rainbow colors at the end. Perfect, perfect. Cha cha, we will techniques. Cha. Great televote winner. <laughs> it's definitely a party. Congrats. So I'm just gonna finish this though by saying a huge congratulations to the Finnish team uh, and to Karija, of course. Uh, amazing content sense in the beginning. It was really nice with all the other content sense. I really love to follow his adventure at Eurovision and he's really some one of the nicest uh, guy we have this year so a huge thanks to him for for being really involved in the Eurasian experience too uh, which is crazy it's party yet yeah, definitely and really happy to, to have this song from Finland even if it wasn't my favorite one at first in the selection I recognize some quality and a, a, a global success in this song and I'm really happy that he finished 
first with the Televolt, of course he didn't win but he finished as a runner-up of Eurovision and as a French it's like when Barbara Pravi uh, lose against Moneskin. Uh, I was a bit frustrated, yes, uh, because even for us, because France didn't make a, a top two, a top three since many years, so I was so happy for Barbara Pravi, but um, and a bit sad at the same time, but she finished second of European. This is huge. And I think this is all you should consider like it if you are from Finland or if you are a Kabija uh, fan. He finished second of European, which is an amazing place and he's gonna have a huge success, that's sure. Uh, Barbara Parvi have an amazing success, first of all, in France. She's really like one of the most famous artists of today in France. Before Eurovision, she was not so famous and now she's someone that everyone knows and that's proof that even if you finish first or if you finish second you're gonna have you're gonna have your success and again you could uh, be like Rosaline from Armenia finishing uh, at the bottom of the contest and still have a global hit so it just depends on you the fans which are gonna listen and spread the song everywhere so that's it just do you the job spread the song listen the song support the artists, this is important. And that's it, it's gonna be successful. I'm sure, 100% sure about it, that's it. What do you think of Skarija last performance on the Eurasian stage? You like it, do you enjoy it? Do you think it was a party, it was a crazy time? Uh, be free to share your opinion in the comments, but again, attention, please uh, be respectful to Kalija, to also all the other artists, even the winner of this erosion, be respectful. You can be disagree with the result, with, well, sorry, with the result. You could be not a fan of the winning song. It's okay, but tell it in a respectful way. Please don't be insulting someone. This is not your main thing, so please be calm uh, and just say the thing as an adult. <laughs> That's it. So thanks for watching, I will see you really soon for a new rewatching uh, video. Bye bye, au revoir, see you soon, à bientôt!